Let's dive into another episode of Bible Q&A. Today we're discussing, is revenge for Christians? No. It is God who takes revenge on people. As it was said in Romans, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Romans chapter 12 verse 19. It is God who goes bringing people down because they attack or mess with his children. We can look at Deuteronomy chapter 32 verses 35 and 39 for more on this. However, because we are sinners, humans, according to Romans chapter 5 verses 12 to 14, we can't actually go and take revenge on people as well. Because then we'd be hypocrites. Why would we go look at someone else's sin and say, hey, you did this wrong to me, you have to pay, when we have probably done something bad to someone else? That's just not right. As Jesus told us, thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shall thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Matthew chapter 7 verse 5. If it weren't for God's mercy and forgiveness, our sin would prevent us from living on earth, not their sin, ours. As it was said by Peter, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 9, we can also look at Psalms chapter 130 verses 3 to 4. Why would we worry about somebody else's sin then? God wants us to live righteous lives. Leviticus chapter 11 verses 44 to 45. Revenge has no part in such a life. Revenge doesn't help us live such a life. Therefore, if we decide to go about paying people back for what they've done to us, then we aren't really serving God's purpose. We aren't doing the will of God. As it was said by St. Paul, in this matter, then, none of you should do wrong to other Christians or take advantage of them. We have told you this before, and we strongly warned you that the Lord will punish those who do that. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 6, according to the Good News Bible. Plus, when we leave revenge to God, then we are trusting God to deliver us from our enemies, as that widow did, in Luke chapter 18 verses 1 to 8. This shows God that we trust him because we are willing to go through that pain and let God take care of it. When God sees how we trust in him, he is more likely to deal with those people in the first place. As it was said in Psalms, it is God that avengeth me and subdueth the people under me. He delivereth me from mine enemies. Yea, thou liftest me up above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Psalms chapter 18 verses 47 to 48. Before I conclude, let's look at an example. In 1 Samuel chapter 24 verse 4, after getting chased throughout the country by Saul, who was going to kill him, David had the opportunity to stop him. He could just kill Saul while he was at the toilet, and then it would all be over. However, he didn't do that. He just cut off a bit of his clothes. That's it. That's what he did to his number one enemy. Because he didn't want to be the judge of Saul. He wanted God to be the judge of Saul. As David himself said, The Lord judge between me and thee, and the Lord avenge me of thee, but mine hand shall not be upon thee. 1 Samuel chapter 24 verse 12. God did not disappoint David in this matter. Saul and all his sons died in war in 1 Samuel chapter 31 verses 1 to 6, and his kingdom fell soon after that in 2 Samuel chapters 3 and 4. David could now take the kingdom, and he didn't have any doubt on his conscience. He was righteous, and Saul the sinner went and died. I think you know what my advice will be. Don't take revenge on people. Your wrath, as a human, 
is not going to help God's will. It is only going to slow it down. As it was said by James, For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. James chapter 1 verse 20. And that is where I'm going to stop with this Bible Q&A. Is revenge for Christians? No. Only God should take revenge. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe.